Israeli efforts to negotiate a peaceful resolution in Ukraine continuing now in Latvia. Israeli Foreign Minister Yair Lapid landing in Latvia overnight, just days after Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett returning from his surprise visit to Moscow. Israel is totally committed to do everything possible to stop the war in Ukraine. We have condemned the Russian invasion, and we still do. And Israel is uh, a partner in the global effort to make sure and clarify that this war must be stopped. The way to stop a war is to negotiate. Israel is speaking with both sides, both with Russia and Ukraine, and we're working in full coordination with our greatest ally, the United States, and with our European partners. But the war in Ukraine is far from the only regional issue on Israel's mind. And so opposed to his statements on the Russian invasion, Lapid somewhat ironically pushing to scrap negotiations between the P5 plus one powers and Iran. This as the JCPOA nuclear talks in Vienna, which Israel vehemently rejecting as a bad deal, nearing their end. It's no secret we have our differences on this, but it's, it's a conversation between allies that have a common goal, which is to prevent Iran from becoming a nuclear threshold country and to stop Iran's ability to spread terror and instability all around the world. Meantime, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken reiterating his appreciation for Israel's security concerns, as well as thanks for the search for diplomatic solutions. But ultimately, it appears as though Washington intent on moving forwards with the Iran nuclear deal, even as the talks now mired with uncertainty by Russia's most recent demands. Moscow calling for a U.S. guarantee that sanctions over the invasion of Ukraine won't cross over to its train with Tehran, and the White House holding firm that it doesn't believe there's a conflict of interest. We're making progress together. Russia is a member of the P5 plus one. Uh, I don't think anyone believes it's in their interest for Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. Uh, and that is how we're approaching these negotiations and discussions. And certainly, as the Secretary of State said just yesterday, we don't believe that the, the sanctions on them have anything to do with that uh, shared goal. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.